Good morning, my name is Angela Christini. This morning we're going to go do some yoga. Um, Jennifer is the person we're going to meet. Um, she is uh, scheduled today to do uh, her yoga. <laughs> Um, at Wabashine, at Wabashine Beach, um, which is actually in the area where we live, and uh, it's a nice, quiet little beach. Uh, so um, we'll head on over, and uh, hope you enjoy this, this episode. Good morning. Well, we're with Jennifer from Growth in the Grove. Good morning. Good morning. And would you like to introduce your friend? Yes. This is my friend and business partner, Emily. She <laughs> has been a great support for me building signs and doing all of the computer tech stuff. Which wow. Is great. We all need one of you. <laughs> <laughs> so we just did yoga this morning uh, right on the beach at Wabashine on Pine Street. Um, and so I wanted to take a minute to talk to Jennifer um, and Sorry, Emily. Emily, and just to get an idea of what to expect when we're doing um, yoga and other activities so close to Georgian Bay. Um, so, how long have you been doing this? I've been teaching and certified for over a year. I've been doing yoga for a little over four years now, which has been a lot of fun. And like, I just love it. It provides a nice peace of mind. And bringing it outdoors, you get so many different aspects. Like you have to compete with the weather in a sense, and you just have to be open to whatever happens. Like you might get a nice strong breeze and people can't hear you, so you have to really yell. Now, so how did you get involved? <laughs> well, Jen and I actually met at Lakehead University. Oh. <laughs> So it was like a university, hey, we can do this little business and... Oh, it was actually a little bit after yeah. we, we graduated, we weren't really sure what to do and we just really fell in love with the idea of yoga and nature and mm -hmm. just the beautiful marriage of the two. No kidding. Well, now, so do you both live in the area or anywhere around here? I actually from Aurelia. Aurelia? Do yeah. you drive here? I do. And that's only about a half hour drive, yeah, right? Yeah, that. Yeah, okay. That and you all. live... And I'm currently living in Wabashine. I came over from Victoria Harbor and before that, Caledon. Okay, Caledon. So Caledon is about an hour? An hour and a half? An hour and a half. Okay. So what brought you here from Caledon? So it was originally university over in Aurelia for the four years. In my last year, I said, that's enough. I want to live at the family cottage on the lake. And I moved over and I just fell in love with the area. Like, I don't want to go home. This is home now. <laughs> no kidding. Well, look at the view. I mean, you'll see clips in the video of us doing our yoga. Uh, I mean, God, you couldn't ask for a better scenery. Um, now. So besides the yoga on the beach, uh, you have a Facebook page and I noticed you have other activities. Uh, do you want to give us an idea of what to expect like when you know someone does yoga with you or different types of yoga? Sure, so I currently teach out of the yoga house as well. She's brought me on and it's been lovely teaching there, but I do prefer being outdoors, especially in the nicer weather. So I teach in Little Lake Park, a nice gentle sort of yoga class. Some people think it's tough. My goal is to make people laugh. 
So, you know, you can't have too much laughter. It's a good feeling. You're also getting nice grounding energies from the earth to provide healing and make you sleep better at night. And I also offer a wild yoga class. So you can expect to go out into a forest around the area with the naturalist and he'll guide you through on edibles and different plants. And then we just enjoy a nice yoga practice in the heart of the forest a gentle meditation, and a nice meal together to really bond everybody. Really, eh? Yeah. Okay, I have to ask the one question, because I noticed here when we were doing yoga, I was the only one wearing runners, <laughs> and I had a very small yoga mat, which was a, a sort of a, my mistake this morning. But um, everybody else was barefoot, including yourself, which is cool because having, and I eventually took my shoes off, but having my feet dig into the, the um, uh, beach felt amazing. Mm -hmm. So when you're in the wild, are you still doing the same thing? Like Still doing the same thing. No we'll just shoes. bring out extra mat, no shoes. My naturalist friend prefers to even walk barefoot through the forest, which gets everybody looking. They're not sure whether they want to come with us, but it's okay. It's providing healing energy and you strengthen your feet this way. We aren't meant to wear shoes. That's something that's been created and it keeps us out of connection with the earth. And just if you have that connection, you're absorbing energy that helps reduce kind of like the stress in the body and sleep, such good sleep after being barefoot all day. I know I'm going to sleep really well. <laughs> so thank you guys for joining us. I mean, this is just a little bit about what we do here in Wabashin. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you come or you're traveling through, make sure to stop in and say hello to Jennifer. She'll be somewhere on the beach along <laughs> Georgia and Bay. Uh, teaching and uh, just relaxing or maybe you might run into her in the wild yeah. just make sure if it's a bear turn the other way <laughs>